I opened a basic sheet. Okay, uh, now uh, today we are going to learn about Microsoft Excel, uh, that what are the rows and columns and how can we do different formatting stuff and how can we format it and apply some tables, create some tables, apply some formula, how can we do all that thing. So for that thing, you need simple first create a Microsoft Excel sheet. Creating Microsoft Excel sheet, simple way, go to your desktop or from your search bar, you can just on your search right here, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Excel here, or on your desktop, right click. Uh, you got the different options of creating Microsoft Excel new. And here you got the option Excel, Microsoft Excel worksheet. Create it and name it with grade seven. Rename or you direct can uh, put the name. Grade seven, open it. And here Microsoft Excel is in front of you. Now, what else can you do in my uh, first thing? Uh, learn the names of uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, what we uh, have it in Excel. The first thing here, home, insert, page layout. We call this is your, uh, your tabs. Home tab, insert tab, page layout tab, formula tab. Keep, remember the names, okay? These are your tabs. Here is your toolbar. In your toolbar, you can save, you can undo, or you can redo. In your tabs, you got the ribbons, font ribbon, alignment ribbon, number ribbon. You can see the word and this box. When you click the word and box, you, you will feel, okay, you are on the ribbon. Home tab, clipboard ribbon, home tab, font ribbon. Insert tab, illustration ribbon, insert tab, char, uh, uh, chart ribbons. We have different ribbons in every tab, okay? Now here, what you see on your screen, this is your spreadsheet. You got different cells here. This is your cell A1. You can locate it by column and row. Column A and row is one. A1, this one is how you will locate the position E8. Here also it's written E8 here. This FX means the function or the data which you are applying it. So the first thing when uh, all programs in a Microsoft Excel Office suits share the same user interface, tab, buttons, controls are all in the same places. On From your home tab, you can simply say, this FX is called your formula bar that allow you to type formula. You can do that in a cell too, but there are uh, there you have more space to add the formula. For example, if you have a formula and you click the cell where you want to enter it on B5, so you can click the cell and go and click here and enter the formula. Or you can simply by just click here and start typing. It's the same thing. But because here it appears small and here it appears long. Just this is the difference. Now, what are the rows and what are the columns? In a spreadsheet, uh, you can say each of this, as I say, this is called cell. Okay, now if we select it like this entire way, select the number and you will you can easily do it. You just need to select the number and you will highlight all your row. This is all your row. And uh, the column, you just need simple to select the letters and each time you will going to select each column. So column and row, column and row. Okay, girls understand? What is yes. column, what is row? Now, each cell have a Did unique you name. Every... how I will do color and row? The column, okay. When you select it, select the number on your side. Yeah. Each time you select the number, you will see, yes, you are on row number 19. You are on no number 5. You already have automatic yeah. numbers here. Here is your columns. Column A, column B, D, E, F, whatever columns you want. I understand. Thank okay. you. Okay, welcome. Now, every cell, they say, have a unique name. For example, let's suppose you select this. So what is the name of the cell? Who can tell me? Uh, I want. I want. Can I? Uh, raise can your I hand please? Can I please? Raise your hand and I'll show. Razan. F. Yes, Razan, what is it? F. The Not cell just F. F. F and 11. 11. Yeah, F11. it's like that. It's like that, F11, okay? From here, you may 
put the name of your row or you will just keep it F11, C5. Okay, good, Razan. Okay, now you can always see the name of your uh, uh, rows or your column here. And the second thing, when you click the cell, it becomes too active. Click any cell. Now start typing and the things start coming. You don't need to click it and wait for the cursor or click twice. You can do like this, but it's take a long time. Just click the cell and type whatever you want. Click the cell and type whatever you want. Now on your book, page number 119, they created for you a small table about sports, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, what kinds of sports and uh, about uh, how can you insert the text so we're going to learn. Let's suppose we will start from cell A1. Put Select the cell A1. And in this cell, type sport. Sports. Now, if you want to move up and down, you will use the arrow key from your keyboard. You see the four keys on your keyboard? Up, down, right, left? Yeah. Yes. Okay. From this keyboard, you will move after sports right here, Saturday. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, teacher, sometimes when I use Excel, uh, the, I want to make the words big, but the column don't uh, be enough. Okay. Uh, this is what we will go to learn it today. It. Then how can we change it? Just first type. Either if it is go out, no problem. The, as I said, there is another option that you can type here the text. You can see if you can't see something complete here, maybe it's, let's suppose I write Saturday, day of the week, okay? It's long, yeah? When I select it, you see it takes long area. So how can I fix this thing? How can you are asking that thing, right? Yeah. So, you can see here the complete text is here. Okay, then the thing that you need to know that we can change the size of the cell. We can change the width of the cell. So let's suppose you type on the cell C, select the cell C from the corner of cell C when your cursor change into this, this mm -hmm. mark. Select and move until where you want. And here is oh. your one cell. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Now, as I don't want Sunday day of the week, I just want it Sunday. So I can again redo it, select and make it to the normal one. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now put the sports, what kind of sports, whatever sports you like, you may write it. I write jogging and bicycle. Now, uh, here you can put some number data also. Let's suppose how, how, many, uh, how many minutes you have jog or you do the jogging. So let's suppose 30 minutes and Saturday 35, Sunday 30, 40. So here I have entered the data. The data is done. Now I can simple format my text. By formatting, we got the different options. Now, the first thing, how can I bring all that text into the center? If you want, you can select each cell, go to your alignment ribbon and mid, or all the cells select together and click mid and all the text at once comes mid. Here in the alignment bar, you got the options that, uh, where do you want your align at the top? Do you want it mid or do you want it bottom? This appears only when now I want you to increase the width, okay? Increase the width of your text from number side. Increase the width like that way. Increase the width so it looks bigger. Then you will change the handwriting. Select all the text. You need to click the first cell, press the button and move and then release. So all the text will select at once. Now, bold whatever you want the setting change the color text if you want to choose any color of the text then same thing let's suppose you want it top mid or bottom top top mid bottom choose wherever you want to assign them okay choose this uh, choose that setting let's suppose i want all of them in mid and this one i want it normal also mid Okay, and I'm going to just change the size of the title. 
I'm going to increase it as it's a title. So here, if I increase the S, I can't see the Y, I can't see it. So same thing, I change the width of my text. Now, what else can I do? I can apply some uh, color. I want to apply the color on my title. Here is the paint box, the text color. Here, from here, I will choose the text color, whatever the text color I want. Then here in the paint box, I will choose whatever do I want my text to look on it here. So let's suppose I'll choose uh, the dark gray and the text color I'll choose with white color. So it's up here more good. Here, jogging and bicycle, because these are the sports I used to play. So let's suppose I choose for them this color and again white it's up to you all okay students understand teacher, all of you did how i'm teacher, doing it teacher how you do like the the right how to write the color i know it but how you do inside the colors yeah okay select the cell you want to color it or yeah, I... select two cells together three four cells together go to your home tab your ribbon font here is the option of paint Teacher, how I will select them all? Select, how you will select? Just click one time, you select one cell. If you want to select more cell, from your mouse, the left button, click the left button and move the mouse. Move the mouse until where you want to select it, okay? Release the button, leave the button when you done select it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I... Okay, I and then from here, choose the color. So this is the way we format it. We can apply different color, different styles, different stuff. Now, when you're done this thing, you change the colors, you change the theme here, bold, italic, underline, whatever you want. You can do simple settings. It's all in your fingertips, all in your hand, okay? Understand, girls? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. thank you. Okay, welcome. Now, same thing, you can change the width from here. You can change the height from here. Adjust the height as you guys want it. It's all up to you. Okay. Now, what if you want to insert something new? What if you want to add something, okay? You are working here Saturday, Sunday. What if you want before Saturday, add here a day that is Friday? So it's hard, yeah, erase the data and do it again. So there is one short uh, shortcut you can say that let's suppose if you want to edit uh, before Saturday, click the cell Saturday and with your mouse, when you select Saturday, with your mouse, you need to click right. You got the option cut, copy, paste, paste special or insert, insert. And here we got the other option. We'll enter here Friday. With the same format, it will come in front of you. You don't need to change the format. Just because that one we inserted with the sports, so we'll change the color of it. And here is it. Write any data you want. Again, change the color of the text. Select. Change the color of the text. Okay, what if we want to add here between jogging and bicycle, then select, select uh, the text, let's say after sports or after jogging, wherever the position, right click, insert, and here you got the option. Again, change the setting, change the color themes, if you don't want this theme, choose any color, whatever you want it. I think I choose the darker. Okay, and this three, light color. Mm -hmm. Girls, do you understand it? I think it's very easy. Yeah, very easy. Yes, teacher, yes. thank you. Okay, same thing, change the color, setting, handwriting style, text size, whatever you want, it's all up to you. Here, drop down your text size. I do it all at once, 11. Put the, put the text here. Here, I want the text with a white color. So write the text here. Put any other new entry, any other new, maybe 
it's jogging and bicycling so i will put here give me some hobby quick some sports running and how many minutes okay i write running now next time football okay so here the data is complete we insert all now how can we wrap a text now this is first create a simple table now what if we are doing something and we want to put the title of it let's suppose we want to add insert a uh, one more um row over sports okay so right click insert it's appear here now here i want to give a title of this table so my title is my fitness my okay sorry i want here a second my fitness My fitness schedule. Now I want all this title appear until here. What if I do, if I select it and I each time change the size of the text, what happened? The cell you can see, each time the cell is moving and it's not suiting to our data. So what we do, we will going to wrap the text. Then how can we wrap the text? Select the first cell, select it, okay? Press from your left button and move until where you want to merge it. When you select all the entire section, then here you got the option in your alignment tab, merge and center. So it will give you as a title. So you do merge and center and this apply as a title on the top of it. You got how, you understand how we do merge? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, merge okay. and yes, yes, I will repeat it, no problem. Okay, what you enter the text and the text is out from the cell and it takes cell B also, cell C also, cell D. What if you want to apply the text all over in A, B, C, D? All. So click the cell, first cell from where you want to merge it. This is called merge, give title. Select the first cell from your left button move move and move until where you want to merge it okay we want until cell uh, uh from a1 to d1 release and then on your alignment tab there is an option merge and center click merge and center and it's automatically appears in center do bold any handwriting style you want apply any handwriting uh, paint color you want you may apply handwriting style colors it's all up to you change the size of the text and your title is done understand yeah yes okay there yes. is another thing that called wrap the text what is wrap the text like if you want to enter text that is very long and you don't want to make the column wider you don't want your column to be wider like same thing you write here the text uh i will write it in this cell for you again my fitness teacher i have a question yes how can you change the position or remove the table or the Right. All the table you want means that move all the table to any other place or how you add a new title after because we, uh, we use one A and we started or A1 and now um, you move it and right. Okay, I don't move it. I insert it. What I do, what if I want to uh, put one more line over my fitness? I want something else added, right? So click if I want it, add the row or column. If I want the uh, column, I will click A. If I want the row, I'll click the numbers. I'll use numbers for the row and for the columns, the letters. So just select where the position you want. It's always come over it, okay, above it. Right click and insert. And okay. here I got another okay. cell. Thank you. Welcome. Now, look, girls, here my fitness schedule. You can see that it is out from the cell also. It's take. Uh, uh, I don't want it um, to merge it. So there is another option that is called wrap the text. 
when I done typing the text on uh, click the cell, on the same alignment tab, there is an option wrap text. Click wrap text and automatically it's adjust between the cell. Automatically it's adjust. As more I increase the size, as more it's go down always, but it won't change the width of the text. Okay? If you don't want to change the width of your text, okay. simple wrap it. If you want to just merge them all as a title, then click merge and center. Teacher? Yes? If I want to, like the uh, whole chart, I, I want to change it's like a place to visit in middle or left or right. How you could change it? Change the place, for example, you want to add something after Friday? No, I mean um, to change its place, change it from from the uh, right to the left or from left to middle. Uh-huh. And you, you mean that, for example, entire cell B, you want to move it? Yeah. Okay. For this, for example, entire cell B, select entire cell B, right click, cut. Uh, cannot change part of a merge cell. Okay, yeah, because it's already merged here. So, okay, let's suppose only this part, Friday, data of Friday, select, right click, cut, and paste where you want it. Is Do you want it after Friday or after Saturday? Let's suppose we want it here, so paste here. It's moved from this place to this place. Cut, paste. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now we have done entering the data now. Uh, so another thing that from here down, you can see your worksheets. You can notice that each time like here, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. If what if you apply the data about one thing here, then go to the sheet two, apply another data, go to the sheet three, apply another data. And each time you can increase the sheets. If you want first, for example, this is about your fitness schedule. Here you want to create another sheet about your uh, school timetable, about your uh, reading timetable, different sheets, different schedules. You can do it even here if you want you can rename them by just right clicking and you can get the option of rename rename your sheets schedule uh, uh my fitness schedule another slide my classwork timetable whatever like that these things okay now we're going to learn that how can we apply some formulas or how can we apply some uh, different uh, uh, formatting styles so first thing that is called like how can you check the currency right now here our data is all about the fitness schedule right so change this data into grocery list let's suppose we are creating a grocery list what is grocery anyone have idea yeah what it's uh, a supermarket that you want to market yeah okay so we are going to create a grocery list now right now Okay, another thing we done with that part. I hope you guys understand how we change the width and all that thing. Yeah, do you guys understand it or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. And now how can yes, I Okay, now now create another table, okay? Name uh change the names of this table or if you want in any other area you can create the table. It's much better just change the name item. Create a new table exactly as on page number 124. How can we apply currency? How can we apply the currency in? Because we have a price here, right? And the quantity of the items which we want to buy from grocery store. So uh, you need to change the number into the currency format. The numbers, what we have it. We already write the numbers here. We want to change it into currency format. So how can you do that? Select the cell you want. Select the cell you want, for example, you want it on uh, C4, C and four. This is your C4, number one, select the cell, okay? Which you want to change it, then go to your home tab and the number group. This is your home tab. Where is the number group? Here is your number group. Here you can see the journal setting. You can see, find the dollar sign that is automatic number. Here the person, the comma and the rest of the things. So um, on your number group, you need to, expand the button expand the button there is a small arrow that means it's expanding and give you more options click that button 
just wait for it to load. Okay, so here is it. In your number, now you get the option numbers or currency. We want to choose currency, right? Currency means the money. So you can see it is $1. The sign of dollar comes in front of it. Understand how I get the currency mark? Yes. Yes, okay. So what if you want to yeah. apply the same thing on all over text? So what you do, select the cell. On, and now you can see this plus is in a white color, the arrow, the cursor. When your cursor, put the cursor at the corner, corner and let it change into this plus mark. Corner of the text, okay, when it's changed into this plus, select and move downward. And it will apply, but it's changed the numbers to all. So here is the option. You will just say here, fill formatting only, keep the price same, but only apply the format. Format means the dollar marks just here. And we have put the dollar to each and every uh, cells. Understand how I did this? Yes. How I do understand? Yeah. I will repeat it again. Look, you apply the currency sign here. Understand this part? Yeah. Okay, now put your mouse yes. here, the corner of your cell, at the corner, corner. When it's changed into this plus mark, from your left button, select and go down, 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 until where you want to apply the same format and release. Then there is a small option, come click that and fill format only. And it's automatically appear to you. Yeah, 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 I do. Okay. Yeah. Now, what if you want to apply the date? Yes. Um, sorry, but our time is up. Yeah, I know, just let me finish and then you can get. Do you have a class after that? No. No, it's a break. Okay, just two minutes and I will finish it, okay? Date, if you want to change the date, just select the date again, because this is the tab of your date. And again, you will go on your uh, home tab, number operation, extend it, select the extend, and you get the option of date here. Date, different date styles. Choose whatever style of date do you want it. Select the style of date you want and click okay. So in this way, you will change this, uh, you will change the style of your uh, date also. Now, and another thing that what if you want to merge the text, you want to move the text into another setting, again from the same thing, select and the number tab here, you get the option about your font, your border, your fill or uh, protection. So let's suppose you want alignment, click alignment and here is a text position. Where, which direction do you want your text to be moved? You can simply by selecting it, move the text from here. You can also change the uh, indicator of the orientation of the text. And from here also you can uh, change the indicators if you want it, okay? Then the text wrapping and rest of the things we will do inshallah in our next class and how can we merge it. So see you all next time. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.